Hi everybody and welcome to the first of my new videos which follows on from the Millibob build uh, which you can see in my other videos which covers a lot of the basics of building using balls of construction from plans. This build which I'm going to take on is the Slowpoke by Great Plains. The plans themselves are available for free on the internet as well as a booklet of instructions. I will leave a link at the end of this video for those for you to download and use and build should you wish. The Slowpoke itself is a low wing plane. I'll just show you the image of it here on the front of the instructions. The reason I've chosen this as a follow on from the Millibob, which is a high wing trainer, is because the wing tips on either side have actually got quite a large amount of dihedral and also a very large wing area. So even though it's a low wing plane, it should be incredibly stable to actually fly. This, like the Millibob, is three channel. So you will have throttle, rudder and elevator as your controls. There is an option to convert this into a four channel to introduce ailerons in the uh, wings. And I might do that at a later date if, if this build itself is successful. The plans themselves come from the original Slowpoke kit, which was a pre-cut balsa kit. And they are incredibly detailed. I don't have the kit, so I have to use these instructions to actually cut all of the components out by hand. The bill itself looks fairly simple and nothing that will really stretch um, even the most novice builder. However, trying to interpret some of the details on the plan can actually be quite tricky. So I'm going to go pretty slowly through these videos and just pick up on some of the more uh, trickier points which I haven't covered in the Millibot build. One of the things I did notice on these plans is that you have the template for the wing rib. However, the wings do taper and I don't have the templates for the wing ribs as they taper and smaller and smaller in size. So I'm going to have to do some kind of estimating to try and figure out how they taper off to the wing tip itself. The instruction manual is incredibly good. There's over 30 pages of how to actually put this together, which came with the kit itself. Um, and as you can see, it gives very good step-by-step -step instructions which will actually help me try and understand exactly what's happening both on the plans and also with some of the components where I don't have the full details or dimensions given. I'll be taking this build on very shortly once I've got my garage completed and converting it into a model building workshop. So I'm really looking forward to this as a, as a build and as a challenge. It's going to be a very different and unique aircraft for me compared to the previous builds that I've done. Uh, I'm particularly looking forward to kind of constructing the, the turtle deck area, which is full of kind of formers and stringer construction, but the rest is very basic. Uh, and it's also a tail dragger as well, um, as opposed to um, some of the other builds that I've, I've taken on in my time. So if you plan on taking this on, the links for these plans and the instructions will be at the end of this video. I hope you do, and I'll keep you up to date on how I'm getting on with the build. Till then, bye.